Hello my friends, we're here today to see how you can transfer listings from one Etsy account to another Etsy account. So we're here in my Nemble instance in the channels tab and you can see I already logged in two Etsy accounts. So I'm going to be importing from the blue circled one and list to the, to the simple one. So since I'm importing, I'm interested here in the import from Etsy settings. So I clicked on the gray gear icon and I'm going to be importing active listings from all shop sections, save changes and click import. This notice from Nimble is telling you that Nimble will import items or link them without importing if uh, these items already share SKU codes, identical SKU codes with items already in Nemble. You can see I already had three products in my Nemble account, one with an exception. So sometimes you will see exceptions, don't be frightened, just click on it and read if you can fix it. And the system already imported two products. I can refresh and there it is, there's more products coming in. Now there's 27 products, so 24 new at 20 and 3 old, I can refresh again. So importing takes a little time. Now there's 32, you can see it's going on, right? It's taking a little time, allow the system to get your, uh, your listings from Etsy in this case, or any other channel from which uh, Nemble imports. And now we, going, we want next step to select some of these products and list them on uh, my other Etsy account. So let's double check the list to Etsy settings so that we are sure that these products are going to end up in the right place in my, in my, next, uh, in my new Etsy account. So first of all, you have to tell Etsy if you're the maker of these products, the date to see if they're vintage. Then you can flag if you want these listings active or not. Normally, I, I select non-active because active means that you're gonna be asked money right away. But in this case, I'll flag active so that, you, that we can click and see that actually we listed them. And uh, we are listing in the category sweatshirts. Here you can see we have two categories to choose among. And uh, you will see in the select the categories all the categories used in the most recent 200 active Etsy listings on your destination account. Or if you flag automatic, you, uh, well, Nemble is going to list automatically the items into the most used, most frequent category in your uh, most recent 100 listings. So we stick to sweatshirts, save, go back in products, and now we would have to select uh, sweatshirts among all the products we, that we imported, which by now are uh, 38, so 35 newly, newly imported. And how, how do we do? We can go visually if we only have a few products, but it's clearly with large amounts, we just flag 200 per page and we use uh, the search. And uh, for instance, we can flag, we can search for garment which I know being a keyword in, my, in, in some of my listings. So let's imagine this keyword was a t-shirt or actually sweatshirt as we picked. So we select five items or we flag away some of them and um, whatever, we just flag three and then we select from the actions menu, the publish command. We unselect all, flag the second, Etsy account, even if we flag the first one, doesn't matter because Nemble is not going to list twice the items on the, on the source channel. We click, we click publish and we wait. So we just ask the system to list three items. Listing takes a little time. In the meantime, I can uh, get rid of my search keyword or refresh and you can see two of the three already have been published and the third one is still working. Now the three have gone, took just uh, what, maybe 30 seconds. As soon as the loading 
is going to allow me to access products again, we are going to see one item listed on the destination account. There's a green icon. We click on it and we're going to access uh, the Etsy account. Here it is. You can see the item is here with uh, all its pictures, prices, and so on. So, thank you very much.